how the dipole moment evaluate with time today i would like to discuss this topic under the action of an antecedent field a dipole moment between the two level can be generated suppose we have a two level this which has state a and b and this field is interacting with this two level atom then a dipole as generated between these two levels and this dipole moment can be written mathematically which is equal to e and this average distance because we know the dipole moment is equal to q d so this is q and this is the average distance so this is the dipole moment and we have a state psi of this two level atom C A of T A plus C B of T B and taking the conjugate we have this now putting the value of this and this and this equation then we must have P of T which is equal to C A star of T A plus C B of T star B and R and this state C A of T A and C B of T B. Now we must have four terms. If we multiply these together, we must have four terms E, this, and this. So this is. C A of T absolute square and this and this, this is A R A and then we multiply this, this with this, then we have C A of T star, C B of T and A R B and then this with this C B star of T and B R and also we have C A of T here and this is R and A and multiply this with this then we have C B of T absolute square and B R and b now here the average distance we already discussed this point the average distance between the same states this must goes to zero there is no any dipole this and this term can be vanished further p of t which is equal to e and C A of T star, C B of T and A R B and this is uh, known as P A B. Uh, let us uh, write down this. This term plus C B star and C A T B B R and A. If I multiply this E with this term and this with this term, then this E a r b this is p a b this is the dipole between a and b and this is the whole dipole which which is evaluating with time so p of t can be written as c a star p c b t and P A B and plus C B 
P star, C A T, and this is P B A. And let's say this is equation number one. We also know that C A, which is equal to C A cross E to the power minus iota omega A T. We know about this because this is a slowly varying amplitude and cb which is equal to cb cross e to the power minus iota omega bt we already discussed this point here in equation one we have the value c a of t and c b of t and here c b star and c a so we must put the value of C A like this, C B like this, and this equation. So this P of T, which is equal to C A star, this C A cross E to the power iota omega A T, and this C B, C B as this one is C B cross and this is e to the power minus iota omega b t and this is p a b plus c b star if i i can take a c star of this then this will be equal to c b of t star and e to the power iota omega b t and c a c a s p a cross and e to the power minus iota omega a t and p b a further this can be written c a of t cross c b of t and this this term and this term will be equal to omega a minus omega b into t and p a b plus c b star of t e to the power and c a of t e to the power minus iota omega a minus omega b into t and p b a we already know about this is the transition frequency and p t which is equal to c a star of t and c b of t e to the power iota omega a b t p a b plus c b of t cross c a of t e to the power minus iota omega a p t and p b a <coughs> In this equation, C A cross C B cross, C B cross and C A cross. And we know about these values. Already we have in the previous lectures, uh, we have calculated this. For example, C A of T, we already calculated this cosine omega T divided by 2 plus iota delta divided by omega sine omega t divided by 2 and e to the power iota delta t divided by 2 already we have calculated this under the initial condition when the tuning is not equal to 0 and c b of t this is equal to iota omega r divided by omega e to the power iota phi sine omega t divided by 2 and with a multiplication of iota delta t divided by 2. So already we have calculated these two equations. Then 
in this equation we have c a cross star so we can take the star of this and c be this we can multiply and this and this so this is very easy it is not so difficult so p of t the value of c a star take star of this then we have cosine of omega t divided by 2 minus iota delta divided by omega sine omega t divided by 2 and e to the power minus iota delta t divided by 2 this is c a star and what is b c b this in a multiplication f i take is curly bracket then c b will be equal to iota omega r divided by omega e to the power iota phi sine omega t divided by 2 and e to the power minus iota delta t divided by 2 and p a b plus c b star take star of this then this will be equal to minus iota omega r divided by omega and e to the power minus iota phi sine omega t divided by 2 and e to the power plus iota delta t divided by 2 and with the multiplication of c a this one cosine omega t divided by 2 plus iota delta divided by omega sine omega t divided by 2 and e to the power iota delta t divided by 2 okay now this is the final equation and then we have this exponential term and this exponential term if we multiply this with this then this will be minus 2 iota delta t divided by 2 and 2 will be cancelled out so the final expression of this dipole moment can be written as iota omega r divided by omega this term and we have this cosine omega t divided by 2 minus iota delta divided by omega sine omega t divided by 2 and this e to the power iota phi sine omega t divided by 2 and also this exponential term e to the power iota delta t minus iota delta t and p a b and this term equal to minus iota omega r divided by omega and if i take this term first because this is in a multiplication so cosine omega t divided by 2 plus iota delta divided by omega sine omega t divided by 2 and e to power minus iota phi sine omega t divided by 2 and exponential this with multiply with this we can get iota delta t and rho you have p a b p b a here so this is a p b a so this is uh, the final expression the dipole and deuce dipole moment is generated between two level and how this is evaluating with time so this is the final expression